In this presentation, we are going to look at matrix multiplication. Also, we're going to look at how to determine the dimensions of a matrix and also how to construct the transpose of a matrix. So first off, I have a very simple matrix here, A. It is a vector, really, but we're going to consider it as a matrix. So it's three row, three uh, one row with three columns. Now, let's determine the dimensions of a using a function. So there we have there one row and three columns. Now, in this case, we have a very small matrix, but in other cases, it might be quite common that we would have an absolutely enormous matrix. So I'm going to clear the screen now. And I have a second matrix here, B. Now, the size of B, the dimensions of B, we have three rows and one column. Now, the dimensions of a matrix are very important in the context of matrix multiplication. So, for example, we have A asterisk B. That's the multiplication operator. It's an asterisk. It's on the same key as the number 8. That is going to compute the following output. A single value, 34. The reason for that is the order of the multiplication. A has one row and B has one column. So we actually get a one by one matrix, which is a single value. If we were to compute uh, B by A, B asterisk A, or B star A, we get a three by three matrix. The reason here is that there are three rows in A and there are three col or three rows in B and three columns in A. So again, it relates to the dimensions of the matrix. So I have an another matrix here now. C, it is two rows with three columns. So let's try compute A and C. We get non-conformant arguments. The reason is that the dimensions are not compatible. So we could look at another case though. So essentially, just to be clear, we're, this calculation is not uh, achievable. We can actually look at the transpose of C. The transpose of C is arranging the rows along the columns and the columns along the rows. So the first column here becomes the top row here. The second column here becomes the second row here. And the third column here becomes the bottom row here. Now, I'm going to clear the screen again. So A star C, the transpose, the transpose of C. Let's put a space there. And there we have it there, 32 by 40. And again, the reason is that the dimensions of A and the transpose of C are compatible. There is one row in A, and but also two columns, whereas there are four rows of C, sorry, three rows of C, and two columns. Sorry, I just got a bit tongue-tied there. So, okay, so those are um, matrix multiplications.